Gagarapin ngayon ang weekend ang isang top-notch na frisbee tournament sa Clark Parade Grounds sa Pampanga. And here to tell us more about the NLEX Esitex Summer League is the president of the Ultimate Liga Pilipinas Incorporated, Peng Manlapas. Peng, welcome back to the show. Long time no see. Yes, thank Kumaba you. Kumaba na book mo. Evening. Yes, through my hair. <laughs> and, and a new program and a new Liga uh, to tell us all about uh, a very exciting stuff na how you're very passionate in, in continuing to improve the sport of uh, yes, Ultimate oh. Frisbee. Tell us about this. Anong pinagplan niyo to put up something new and now with a new partner dun sa Clark? Yes, uh, we partnered with the uh, Clark Development Corporation to, okay. uh, to develop Grassroots Ultimate in, okay. uh, in Pampanga. Mm -hmm. They were very willing to, uh, no, to accommodate us. They, yeah. they provided you know, the, a huge field for us, more than 10 hectares. Unlucky so no. now, but, you know, and, and the plan is eventually to create these big tournaments mm -hmm. na magiging sports tourism destination yung yung CDC. Okay, great. And and this weekend kicks off uh, a series of many events. Uh, yes. Tell us about the big term happening this weekend and how significant this is one who's going to be involved in this one at uh, gano ka excited yung mga uh, Clark about this. This weekend is going to be the NLEX SITX Clark Summer League. It's okay. uh, of course summer, you yep. know, ano natin, no? we're always looking for sports events. Mm -hmm. And this is this is a uh, no, this is the start of uh, a series of five more events for us mm -hmm. for the year. <clears throat> Na, and We'll we'll have you know, actually we'll have uh, university teams. Okay. This, you know, we'll have Ateneo, we'll nice. have La Salle, okay. the College of Saint Benilde, mm -hmm. and uh, UP Diliman. Okay. So uh, among others, uh, there are also local clubs joining okay. in clubs from Metro Manila. Okay. Well, dante eh, talagang clubs na nagbubuhay sa mga you know for this sport. Yes. A little bit frisbee. Paano to nagsimula? How did you observe that eventually it crept into schools and they've started to form teams? And when you have a team in school, you have to Liga. Yes. And that's what you guys are providing them. Yes, so. we're, we're trying to provide you know, uh, more, more venues for, mm. for uh, not, just, not just clubs to participate. But, mm -hmm. but right now, we even have high school teams. And Great. eventually, okay. I, I guess, mga grade school teams. Because okay. that's, that's a trend internationally. Yeah. Americans, uh, Europeans, mm. Japanese, they, they start really young in, in, in grade school. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're, we're trying to really creep in into these, to these yeah. schools para mas develop yung mga players natin. Right. You mentioned a key word, uh, their grassroots development of Frisbee. I mean, we've seen the potential. We've had some international success in the past. Nung nakita ninyo yung potential na yun, bakit yung naisip na, teka lang, andyan eh. So mm -hmm. maghanap pa tayo ng you know more talent but the only way to yep. do that is really to expose the sport exactly to that's many. that's exactly that <clears throat> that's a strategy mm -hmm. that we want to employ uh, most of us started playing when we were older mm -hmm. ako i started playing with after college Tama. and what oh, yeah. if what if you get you get people that you know 10 years old yeah. starting to throw frisbees right, yeah. pagdating nila ng high school you know maganda na yung skills nila mm -hmm. pagdating nila ng college strategy team play na yung ano nila and then Correct. When they reach their 20s, mm -hmm. isabak mo na sa international yan, ang gagaling na ng mga yan. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to do. So we want to bring it closer to people, make mm -hmm. it more accessible. Clark is a very, very accessible place. Okay. Everybody, you know, we have joggers around mm -hmm. the, the Clark Parade grounds. And we want, we want our sport mm -hmm. to be mainstreamed and to be more uh, exposed. Yun. And that one way to expose it is to put it in a venue like that. Yes, na, exactly. Nadadaan na ng mga tao, yep. kita nila. Um, so tell us a bit about the whole big picture of what's gonna be in Clark. I mean, how you got CDC to, to be convinced, okay, this is something we want in Clark uh, and, and to help you know boost the whole, I guess, sports tourism of Clark? Yes. CDC is a great uh, destination for sports tourism. Mm. They already have duathlon events, mga bike events. Right. And you, you know, wakeboarding mm -hmm. in Deca. Yeah, then, yeah. And and we've been playing there for a few years now. We okay. actually uh, we actually hosted the Manila Spirits there in 2010. But okay. after that, we didn't follow through. Mm -hmm. But you know, we want to. There's this huge field there. I mean, with with the previous tournaments, our the, the only limitation was the size of the, the field. space. The space. So you had more competitors than you could accommodate. Yes. Now okay. now we have. We have this, and, and we told CDC, we can host bigger tournaments mm -hmm. there because of what they already have. They have a huge field, right. they have multiple lodging options, they have an international airport, and of right. course, Kapampangan food. Yon, uh, syempre, uh, Kapampangan pride, ikaw ay Kapampangan. Yes, so. I'm from there, so <laughs> I love my food. So. Galeng, galeng. Okay, and then, uh, one key thing as well is you, you mentioned the international airport. Uh, how do you see that being right there as a big boost that can help this grow the, put the Philippines on the map in terms of ultimate frisbee in the international scene as well to bring in more foreign teams, foreign yep. leagues as well. Well, uh, as everybody knows, if, if you fly in here in mm -hmm. Metro Manila, you spend how many hours you know, in traffic going to wherever you mm -hmm. are. But with, with Clark, 
the field is five minutes away from the airport. Yun yun. The hotel is five minutes away from the airport. Mm -hmm. Pwede kang walking distance if you want. Eh. Okay. So, warm up na yan. <laughs> yeah, warm up. Exactly. So it's really perfect for, for all the international teams. And now you have flights from Dubai, mm -hmm. you have flights from Hong Kong, uh, yeah. from Korea, right, right. from Singapore. Hopefully, magkaroon ng flights sa Japan kasi Japan is a huge market for Ultimate Frisbee. Right. So if okay. I, we, we told them this and then they said you know, half of the teams before our tournaments mm -hmm. are, are foreign teams. Eh. Wow, okay. And they, they come here not only before it's, it was just a party you know, a yeah. scene, eh. uh -uh. but now they really come here for the competition. It's a competition. Yes, yeah, because okay. they, they now know that there are a lot of competitive teams yeah. in the Philippines. Okay. How did this develop? I mean, what did you say would you say helped improve the quality of our play through the years? Well, I I was there from the beginning, mm, from, yeah, eh. from the, you know, from four or five teams palang. Now there are 300 clubs, wow. right? Like really wow. the exposure and the the when when athletes started to come in, mm -hmm. when when this place, well, I mean I'm a basketball football player. Mm -hmm. I mean after after college, I, what what do I do? What do okay. I do? Yeah. Right? And you're looking for that competitive game. Yes, I'm like, I'm extremely competitive. Oh yeah. So yes, I, yes. I found this sport. Now I can be I can be part of the national right, team. Right. I can compete at a very high level, uh -huh. and I can really you know serve my country. Yon. So with that, I think maraming na inspire palalo. Correct, eh. When once yeah. when they started to see us play internationally, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. more people started to come in. Galing. Okay. Well, uh, tell us about after the Clark Summer League. You've got four other major tournaments lined up, and yes. tell us about them and how they differ from one another. Well, the, the next one will be ano Masikan and Malago. Okay. Uh, which is actually Tagalog for Malakas and Maganda. Okay. Okay. So, okay. And this is a, uh, because with, with the Clark Summer League, it's a mixed tournament. Yeah. With, with the Malakas at Masik, uh, Masikan at Mal okay. uh, Malago, it's uh, open uh -huh. for men's and yep. then women's. For women's, women's. Yes. okay, okay. But then the next tournaments, Habagat, uh, Clark Hat, and the Mechanic Cup, mm -hmm. these, these are all mixed tournaments. But, okay. But eventually, we'll, we'll have other divisions okay. in the... And you really purposely spread it out throughout the year. So, yes. babalik at babalikan ng mga teams yep. uh, ang Clark Field sa inyo. Yep. Uh, right. Kasi what's popular right now are the weekend tournaments. Right, yeah. You know, you, you drive in or you fly right. into a tournament. Right, right. You know, you spend two days playing. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you know, Ultimate is known for the parties that we throw. So, Correct. Uh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll have really there good you parties. Go. There yeah. you go. Great food, great atmosphere, perfect uh, setup for you guys. I'm happy for you guys. Now, you found your home. Yep. Uh, and it looks promising talaga. So, all the best, Peng. And uh, we hope that you can continue to really help grow the sport of Ultimate Frisbee. And we'll be here to support you guys. Yeah, thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Peng. Salamat. Thank you. Hi, guys. Keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates. And don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.